Snipers, you have to see what's happening. The Bitcoin price right now is this is an inflection point for Bitcoin. Let's dive straight into the charts because notice how first we'll look at the market structure, this falling wedge that Bitcoin has been in. Over the last few weeks, we have finally made a major move above this market structural resistance level. Why is this important? Well, market structure is one of the most important aspects of technical trading. But behind that, we have price action and volume. That's the second most important aspect of technical trading. And guess what? We are actually seeing follow through with this major breakout. If we look at the volume, notice how on the six hour institutional time frame, we are seeing the most amount of buy volume that we've seen since Bitcoin has consolidated at these lows, which means institutions are leading this move to the upside for Bitcoin right now up over 5% as I record this video with a candle high of 19,100. What's also significant about this snipers is we are now above the 20 week moving average. Why is that important? Well, realize this, the 20 week moving average, it's really easy to say that we're in a bear market when you're below the 20 week moving average, right? The mainstream media, the narratives that are out there, we're in a bear market. We're below the 20 week moving average. It's easy to say that, but then you get above the 20 week moving average and the narratives start to shift towards the bulls. And guess what? We're starting to see that FTX over $5 billion recovered. Why are positive headlines starting to come out now that Bitcoin is making a move above the 20 week moving average? Because this is an inflection point for Bitcoin at the 20 week moving average. Let's dive straight into the chart snipers because we've covered market structure and volume but what about the four dimensional revolving parts? What about the major roadblocks on the way for Bitcoin? Well, yesterday, for those tuned into our video, we talked about the first major roadblock here at the market structural resistance at 18,500. And so at this point, we are going to draw the $18,500 level right here on the chart, 18,400, 18,500, pretty much the same thing. This is an extremely important support level which was a previous roadblock right now in the immediate short term, because now we need to see follow through with this breakout. And so the first area of concern would be Bitcoin breaching below 18,400. But if we don't breach below 18,400 and that market structural resistance now acts as a support, guess what? We are on the way to roadblock number two. For those that watched our video yesterday, I talked about the first two roadblocks being extremely weak. They were nowhere as significant as the major target that we had at 25,000 US dollars. And so why is that important? Well, now we just have one roadblock left. That's the 2018 previous all time high, or you can call it the realized price, or you can even call it the 200 day moving average. All of those things are showing confluence here at 20,000 US dollars. Let's call it 20,000 because that's the psychological number. And that right now, is the next roadblock for Bitcoin to the upside. So for the short term traders, Bitcoin's playing inside of a range right now with a resistance of 20,000 and a support of 18,400. We want to maintain price action inside of this range. We want to have a cup of coffee here, potentially form a bullish flag. And then we want to see the move above 20,000 to the real target here at 25,000 US dollars, because that right now is the next major volume resistance level for Bitcoin and because we're above 17,204, what did I say, snipers? That's when volume is going to come in. And what happened as soon as we got above 17,204, as soon as we got four hour and hourly candle confirmations above 17,204, and then we got a daily candle confirmation. I said that was the strongest confirmation we were looking for. Now we're seeing Bitcoin with a move above 19,000 US dollars within a 48 hour time frame. There's a reason you're watching this video right now. There's a reason. We have this new style of content out right now because we have the best technical analysis on the internet. We knew this move was coming. And so let's pay attention to the chart snipers because I want to wrap up with Bitcoin and talk about some four dimensional revolving parts. But there's some very positive news to talk about today with the DXY breaking that bull market support level that we talked about yesterday and the S&P 500 breaking above the 200 day moving average, something we also talked about yesterday. Let's dive into this Bitcoin chart and wrap up Bitcoin and then we'll conclude with some four dimensional revolving parts. So because we're above 17,204, if we breach below 18,400, that means 17,204 would be the make it or break it for Bitcoin. The real range, remember snipers that we're playing in right now is a support of 17,204 and a resistance of 25,000. As soon as that door is open above 17,204, 25,000 comes on the table. 
not only does it work on the way up, but that also works on the way down. You can clearly see that when Bitcoin had a daily candle first breach below 25,000, within a week, we had already seen price action come all the way down to 17,204. We came to the lower part of this range. We know the range that we're in. We had these numbers up on the charts before Bitcoin even came down to this area. And so these are the most significant levels right now. Bitcoin inside of a macro range of 25,000 and 17,200 in the immediate short term, 18,400 is the most important support level. And then 20,000 is the only roadblock left for Bitcoin to see the fulfillment of this 30% move to the upside to 25,000 US dollars. And then that's where we'll start to talk about potentially being back inside of a bull market. We cannot make that assumption right now. This is the first time that we've really come back above the 20 week moving average in months, snipers. And so this is still a premature move. What if the rug just gets pulled out of nowhere? That is something we'll talk about, but I'll tell you what, the four dimensional revolving parts are acting as a catalyst right now for Bitcoin to potentially see a continuation of the upside with the DXY, check this out. We breached below this major bull market support level this is a big deal because look how far away now we are from that 200 day moving average exactly as we predicted we knew the dxr was going to top out here and then not only did we know that it was going to top out here we knew if it were to continue further down while it was below the 200 day moving average that that was going to lead to more upside and that's exactly what's happening right now the dxy showing a lot of weakness the mainstream's not talking about it Ever since the DXY topped out, notice how the S&P 500 has also bottomed out. And now that we've got the S&P 500 on the chart, guess what? Look at this move. Daily candle now fully above the 200 day moving average. We still have the bear market resistance level of the macro channel to conquer. That's going to pretty much be the main topic of tomorrow's video. Are we going to see a follow through on Friday or are we going to reject the 200 day moving average, the S&P 500? So at this point, we were monitoring the S&P 500 and that 200 day moving average. We didn't get a rejection. That's a very positive sign. Bullish puzzle piece. The DXY, we were monitoring the major support level that got breached. Bullish puzzle piece. Bitcoin fulfillment and volume now above 17,200 with a candle high of 19,100. As I record this video, bullish puzzle piece. So what's next for Bitcoin? Well, here's what I expect. As long as these puzzle pieces stay intact, Bitcoin is ready to move above 20,000 US dollars. I don't believe that's going to be a major roadblock. I do believe that we could potentially see 25,000 US dollars in the immediate short term because that door is open right now and we can expect volatility inside of this range. And so very interesting price action. And then I'll mention this. Something I noticed here is with Bitcoin making this move upside, the theory to Bitcoin chart did sell off. So it doesn't look like Ethereum is 100% ready to take off. This is extremely important to keep in mind because let's see what happens. Is Ethereum just moving into Bitcoin and that's what's causing this melt up for Bitcoin? Or are we going to see strength with Ethereum to Bitcoin chart? That would be the preferred scenario. We want to see this chart break out. We haven't seen that yet. And so could we prematurely assume that all that happened today was that Ethereum moved into Bitcoin? I think that's something that is certainly possible. What I also noticed here about Ethereum is it rejected the 2018 previous all time high at 1440, but we did come and knock on that door. That's a very positive sign on the weekly chart. Notice how we are a little bit more above that 20 week moving average. We're actually even above the 200 week moving average right now for the Ethereum to US dollar pairing. I'd be interested to see where the 200 week moving average is sitting here for Bitcoin at 25,000 US dollars. Not a coincidence, right? That 200 week moving average is really the only next major weekly moving average on the charts now that we're above the 20 week moving average. And so another reason that 25,000 is our area of interest, our first upside target with this move. And then as we talked about from the start of this video, the market structural level here, if we were to just take the falling wedge and see where that would take us, clearly showing that the full fulfillment of this market structural breakout would also take us above 25,000 US dollars. So that's where we're getting that $25,000 mark there, snipers. So as I've been saying, snipers, during the bear market, it's the best time to invest in yourself. I appreciate each and every one of you tuned into the channel. Remember, if you like this video, comment below and subscribe to our channel. And with that being said, snipers, I will wrap up by saying this. The start of 2023 has been extremely strong. Gold has done extremely well. 
we've seen the equity markets do extremely well. The S&P 500 above the 20 week moving average, above the 200 day moving average. We had CPI numbers come out today at 6.5%, exactly as expected. And that helped with this move to the upside. The DXY has been selling off over the last six months since we pretty much saw the inflation reports peak. Could that be the narrative that the bulls are running with? That it's time for Bitcoin and other assets to see some relief. That's what it seems like on the charts here. Remember, what we'll monitor here over the next few days as well is how is this DXY going to react? Is it seriously just going to continue selling off? What I'm expecting is at some point we are going to see a move to the upside for the DXY. But as long as it's below the 200 day moving average, that's totally fine. We could still see some upside in assets and in uh, the cryptocurrency market um, uh, or in equities and the cryptocurrency market if we stay below that 200 day moving average. That is a sign of weakness there. And thank you all for tuning into this video. I will wrap up by saying this the Bitcoin against SPY chart, exactly as we predicted. Remember that symmetrical triangle or that ascending triangle that we were monitoring? We broke out actually. And now we are back to the FTX breakdown level. So, uh, that major support that held up Bitcoin after the Luna crash that eventually broke after FTX became insolvent. We're now back to that level, testing that previous support as a resistance for the first time. So Bitcoin's valuation against the spy here broke out from this ascending triangle, testing a major resistance. We have to monitor this. You know, if you're a bear and you want to say that that's it, Bitcoin, it's lost all of its momentum. It can't strengthen further against the equity markets because it's just testing a previous breakdown level. Then what I would say is over the next 24 to 48 hours, what we need to monitor is whether we're going to reject this major level here for the Bitcoin against spy pairing, or are we going to see follow through? Because if we see follow through, then be careful for that short squeeze coming that could lead to more upside in the market. So uh, that's a neutral puzzle piece because we're still facing resistance. Uh, but with that being said, snipers, to wrap up this video, Bitcoin inside of an extremely important range right now with a major volume support at 17,200, the closer to 17,200 that your entries are at, the closer you are to the lower part of this range. And so that's the most attractive area to be entering into positions. And then the first upside target and upside resistance based on the volume profile is 25,000. So that's the range that Bitcoin is currently playing in 18,400 is the first level of support right now. That was the market structural resistance of the falling wedge. We want to see that hold. And then right above that, we have our last and final roadblock before 25,000. And that's 20,000. Let's see over the next 24 to 48 hours, maybe this weekend, if we can get above that $20,000 level, that's going to be another major inflection point in the market, because now we're seeing not just short term momentum. Now we're seeing a major shift in the direction of where this is going. And with that being said, thank you all snipers for tuning into the channel today. I will say this as well. Ethereum 1440 is a major resistance. That's the previous all time high from 2018. If we can get above 1440 because that theorem to Bitcoin chart is still in a symmetrical triangle, regardless that it rejected just for one day, we need to monitor it because if Ethereum breaks 1440, next upside target is 1760 and that could be a more volatile asset. With that, I'm rambling snipers. Thank you for tuning into the snipers channel today. Hope you enjoyed this update. Let's monitor Bitcoin. Very exciting times here. I think that it's important right now that we broke out of this market structural pattern here, this falling wedge, because market structure is number one. Price action is number two. That's volume. We're also seeing that. Uh, and then number three, it's the overall trend, which I would say is still on the bearish end because the macro is still bearish. Uh, but getting above that 20 week moving average, that's one step towards some uh, potentially, uh, you know, uh, different narratives coming into the market where we can see that macro opinion shift to the bullish side. So thank you guys for tuning into the channel this Thursday. It's going to be exciting to see what happens. Until next time, snipers out.